Hello, this is Chris with US Tech Channel and CricketUsers.com. Today I have an AT&T uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 in front of me. Um, Android Police published an article uh, about an exploit discovered uh, with the Samsung uh, Exynos processor. Uh, Chainfire, a uh, well-known uh, dev, has released an APK that will root the, an affected device and patch the vulnerability. Uh, right now it doesn't say that I'll work on the Note 2 but someone uh, said that it did work on a Bonesock uh, Note 2 for, uh, for AT&T. Uh, he does say it works for the Verizon version and the international version. So we've gone ahead and downloaded uh, that APK, uh, Exynos Abuse version 1.2 right there. Uh, if we go into the settings and down to security You'll see that we uh, have unknown sources checked uh, under device administration so that we can install this. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. If you want to install, uh, go ahead. So what we're doing is we're going to root and uh, fix this. So go, go ahead and open that up. Uh, no thanks. So root device runs the exploit and installs uh, super SU. Go go ahead and click that. Go go ahead and grant permissions like it asks us to, and it says success. Your device has been rooted. That's great. Um, you can check if you want to disable the exploit or whatnot. Let's go to something that requires root. Go ahead and download uh, maybe ES File Manager. Now that we're inside of this app, we're going to go ahead and go to the menu, settings, root settings, root explorer, we'll grant permissions, we'll allow it to go up to root, hit back, back, hit back again, now we can go to our root, because we do have those permissions. See, you can open up stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to open up if you didn't have uh, root access. So, uh, should work the same for a lot of other uh, Node 2 products um, and anything really run the Exynos uh, recently from Samsung. Uh, for more information, check the uh, links in the comments section. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.